Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of the Rocky Road Show. I'm Danny the Traveler, and this is of course Rocky the Traveler. How's it going, boy? Uh, I don't have anything in my hand today, sorry. Last week, we spoke to you guys about the cons of traveling with your dog. So now that you know that there are a few challenges, let me and Rocky enlighten you on some of the best things about traveling with your dog. You know what? I agree with you, Rocky. There are many more pros than there are cons. And, and it benefits you and your dog. I guess Rocky should come up with a list next time about the pros and cons of traveling with your human. Right, Rocky? Hey, who's a good boy? Ready for the pros? Check it out. Imagine all the new smells that your dog will get to experience once you take him to an open market in France or a forest in England. Hint, mostly dog poo. Your dog will want to pull you to where all the best smells are. Of course, the new scents aren't the only experience. It'll be mentally stimulating for your dog to be around all these different sights, sounds, and tastes. And of course, so many cool places to mark their territory. Think about all the great memories that you can look forward to making when you bring your dog with you on your next adventure. It's a beautiful shared experience, and we think that life is meant to be shared with those that you love. One day, you'll be able to look back and see that you gave your best friend a wonderful and adventurous life. We recommend taking that camera and capturing some amazing photos with your best friend that you'll always be able to look back to. Trust me, your dog is gonna thank you for taking them along on the journey. And believe me when I say, they always love spending time with you. Your dog will likely meet so many people and, and so many animals that it's gonna be great for their socialization skills. And going to a big city like Rome or Barcelona, it's inevitable that people are gonna to wanna to pet your dog. And this gives you a good opportunity to showcase how friendly your dog is. And if they love people, then it's gonna be an incredible experience for them. If you're backpacking with your canine in a strange new country, well, then consider yourself in possession of the world's greatest icebreaker. Huh? Oh, yeah. What is his name? His name is Rocky. Rocky. Rocky, yeah. He's Rocky, you're softy. Hi, buddy. so cute. Thank you. No problem. Oh, <laughs> People are going to come up to you just to say hi to you and your dog. And if they see you with your backpack or suitcase, then they'll be more curious about you and your travels. They'll talk to you and before you know it, you'll have new friends. Sometimes there are locals who might try to take advantage of you and having a dog in these situations is very, very useful. Having a dog by your side is gonna take you to places that you'd have never gone to had you not brought him or her along. You'll want to take the scenic route or the long way just so your dog can get more exercise or stimulation. And a different itinerary could mean a long walk over an iconic bridge or through different streets filled with unique attractions or even dog-friendly cafes. You may find that the city that you visit is actually pretty dog-friendly, which in case you might actually want to move there. The best thing in the world for them is that they'll get to hang out with you more, whether that's sitting beside you while having a beer at the pub or shopping for a new suitcase. This is the greatest pro to bringing your dog with you when you travel. They're not going to get left behind. Instead, they're right beside you leaving their paw prints all over the world. It's really all about them and their happiness, isn't it? So there you have it. Those are the pros of bringing your dog with you when you travel. Now go and grab that pet passport and get to traveling. Um, there you go. There you go. Good boy.